Hello everybody, welcome again to our channel and the video today is to talk about uh, the desirability function, right? So the last video we, we saw how to interpret this prediction profiler, how to understand the behavior of a single factor uh, in a specific uh, responsive variable and this is the place where we will run our quantitative analysis and we'll try to understand what is the best solution for us. But sometimes it's difficult because we have more than one response variable. Uh, as this case, for example, we have here the response variable 1, 2 and 3. And if I change uh, one factor here, for example, if I change the, the factor B, I, I will increase the response uh, variable 1, I will decrease the response variable 2 in a very strong way and the response variable 3 uh, I will decrease but not so strong, strongly, right? So how to find the best solution, the optimized solution? So we have this optimization and desirability function. I'm gonna turn on here clicking by clicking here and now I have these little graphs here and these little graphs here as well and something called desirability. So uh, if you didn't do anything in your data table uh, organizing or customizing your response variable columns uh, you will have as default in the software these lines here going up because jump will try to maximize all the results uh, at the same time. So let's suppose that your goal is to maximize every single responsive variable. You can just go here and maximize the desirability. So I just clicked here and we have uh, one of the best solutions for your process or project is go there and put A in the level plus, B in the level minus, C in the level plus, D in the level 0.43, E in the level plus and F in the level plus. This is something that will achieve 88 percent of your total desirability. What was your total desirability? It was to maximize all the response variables. So if, you, if we look here and try to understand why this is not maximized, let's uh, take the, the factor D. Because we could maximize here, we could maximize the response variable 1 but if we put the D to the right, we will uh, minimize the response variable number three. So this is why Jump found uh, a very good solution, but is not the total desirability that you uh, needed. Okay, this is the first point that we have to understand here, these lines here, this is uh, uh, as default uh, to maximize your response variable. But let's suppose that you have uh, specification limits as I have here in my paper. So let's set desirabilities here. So for the, the response variable one, I have an upper specification limit, an upper specification limit, my high value here is 15.1. So if I have an upper specification limit, I cannot have values upper, higher than this, so I want to minimize this response variable, okay? And the response variable number two, I have a lower specification limit, so I want to maximize this. The low value here, the lower specification limit, at this case is 20.45, okay? And 
The response variable number three, I want a target. I want to match a target because my target is the nominal and the high value is 2.05 and the low value is 1.95. So I just set up my desirability goals here. Okay, what is my desirability? Is to minimize this uh, response variable one, is to maximize the response variable two and to match a target in the response variable number three. So, Mateus, why, this, why is this a curve here? So, why? You can change this. So, you just put this here and you have a straight line. It's not a curve anymore. So, don't worry about this. Worry about the final result. You want to minimize, you want to maximize, you want a, a target here. The moment that you that you set up this here, you will go there again and click on maximize desirability. So let let's look what will happen. So now jump found uh, a response, a combination of factors here that is achieving 92% of my desirability because. I minimized a lot this value here. I maximized a lot this variable here. And I achieved the target of this value. Look what these red lines are here. It, it, it is almost in the end of this line. Almost in the end of this line. And this is in the middle of your target. Okay. So this... It represents 92% of your total desirability. So let's save this setting. Let's remember this later on. So you can just go there and factor settings and remember setting. This is a setting where we maximized uh, the result. Okay. So this is remembered here and you can, if you changed here, and you don't remember what was the solution, you can just go there and click on setting one and jump will remember what was the setting, okay? So, let's start with uh, different situations. Let's suppose that you cannot use or change or put your factor F in 0 0.65 in your in, in your process or, or in your machine or in your lab let's suppose that you want uh, you need you must uh, even better now even strongest uh, you must to fix the factor f in the level minus one so let's go there and reset factor grid you will lock the factor F in the level minus. Look what will happen with this red line here. The red line now is solid. So this is a solid red line. You will do wherever you want here. And the moment that you maximize your desirability, the, the factor F won't move won't change let's see what will happen so maximized desirability and now jump just gave us a different a completely different res uh, response a completely different solution for our process where the a is in the level plus b in the level minus now c is in the level minus 084 uh, percent level D in minus 1 and E in 0 0.22. This is a completely different solution and our total desirability is now being achieved at 40, 47%, okay? Because we want to maximize this, for example, when we are having this value here, okay? So there are a lot of different possibilities to maximize the desirability 
of your project of your process each project is different uh, they have uh, their own uh, uh, scenarios particularities so let's play with another situation here let's suppose that the the most important uh, response variable for you is the y3 okay you want you need to have this target being at 2.0 okay so what you can do this let's suppose that the, the response variable uh, one every single value that we are achieving is good so we don't need to to care about this uh, response variable number one so we can go there in set desirabilities and put none here in the y number one let's keep the maximize for the number two and match target for the number three so now you have a vertical line here because you don't need anything with this response variable so let's maximize again remembering that we have this solid line here in this f so let's suppose that let's see that we will have another uh, result okay so let's maximize this ability and now we have a different solution where the level of the factor a is 0 0.91 b minus 1 c plus b minus e plus and f minus so we are having the 1.99 so if you you change here for one you could have you could have uh, this response variable three in the two exactly two here and now you are having 79 percent of your total desirability being achieved okay so you could um, remember this uh, clicking on here as well so maximize and remember so let's fix the factor a as well reset factor grid let's lock the factor a and let's maximize and remember so another situation another value here look uh, look that jump is trying to find uh, the best solution so uh, we have here again the 1.99 okay so uh, what can we do here to try to guarantee this value being uh, more important than this uh, response variable number two you can you can change the importance of these values here let's suppose that the importance of this number y is 0 0.10 and the importance of this is uh, 0 0.9 so this is a very big importance when you compare with the number two and with this that is none here so let's try to maximize again so is now 1.999596 okay so every time that we change something in jump we are changing the possible results and the explanation behind this is here why why this is a different result sometimes I, I i just change here the values and i click on here in maximize ability and i have a different value why because behind the scenes here look maximization options number of trips 20 maximum inter interaction 20 uh, 250 convergence tolerance maximum cycles so we can change this the numbers here and jump will try more than 20 times to uh, find a solution so it's working a lot behind the scenes to find the best solutions for you so remember that if you don't 
you, if you can have minus 0.98 in your process and you have to fix this in minus 1, so let's go there and, and uh, remember this setting, for example, this is a, 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 a setting uh, with the result focused in the y number 3. Okay, so this is something that Jumpy will remember because if I optimize and maximize again, uh, you will have a different situation. Uh, it, it, it's different from the last one that you achieved. So you go there and remember setting. This is the best for me. So now we can uh, show, we can go to a validation process and to validate if this equation is good or not. The last thing that I want to show you is this. Let's suppose that uh, in your data table you are already uh, optimizing your values. So you can put the, spe the spec limits in your columns. So the, the response variable uh, 1 we have the upper specification limit being 15.1. Uh, the response variable number two, we have this spec limit being the lower uh, spec limit is 20.45. And the number three, we have this spec limit being between 1.95 and 2.05. So the moment, the moment that you will uh, run an analysis as this one, for example, let's recall here all the degrees of freedom. The moment that you open this, okay, the moment that you open the, the desirability function, everything will, will be set up automatically because Jump is understanding that uh, you put this in your data table and now you just go there and maximize and you will have that response, that solution that we had in the beginning of this video. Okay, guys, so this is uh, our video about desirability function. Uh, if you have any doubt, any question, please let your comment, subscribe in our channel and like our videos. Bye-bye, see you in the next time.